Welcome to Selenium Master Apache JMeter video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I will teach you how to use random function when doing performance tests using Apache JMeter. In this example, I will use the Open Weather API. Now let's look at the API usage. By using the Open Weather API, we can get the weather forecast using CTID. When doing performance tests against this API, if we keep using one CTID, the data will be cached on the local browser and you really cannot test the performance of the web server. In order to use dynamic CTID, you can either put all CTIDs in an external CSV file and read line by line, or you can use random function to define a range for CTIDs and run a test. In this example, I will use a CT range for random function and pass different CTID for each thread in the performance test. This is the API call syntax. api.openweathermap.org slash data slash 2.5 slash weather question mark id equals CTID. You can download the list of CTIDs from this link http colon slash slash bulk dot open weather map dot org slash sample and slash I already downloaded the city dot list dot json file from the link and on this file, I found that for country Italy, the city ID falls into a range. Let's say in this highlighted section, the city started with 6535361, and by incremental 1, it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we can test the different 9 cities using a random function. So now let's look at the syntax for the random function. When using Apache JMeter, you can use random function to generate a random number. By using random function, you can return a random number that lies between the given min and max values. Minimum value is the starting point for the random number. And maximum value is the ending point for the random number. And you can also assign a variable for the random number to use in your performance test. For this example, the minimum value is 6535361. Maximum value is 6535361. 
369. So now let's look at the Apache JMeter performance test project. I created a test plan and saved it as weather API performance test random city. Under this thread group, I right click and choose add from config element. I selected random variable. After adding the random variable, I renamed the random variable as random city ID and for the output variable, variable name city ID, minimum value is 6535361, maximum value is 6535369. So we can generate nine different city IDs. Please remember that for the options, always choose per thread or per user choose. That means for every user or every thread, a random number should be generated. So under this thread group, I added a sampler and for sampler, it is HTTP request. So this is the HTTP request. Server name is api.openweathermap.org and this is the pass slash data slash 2.5 slash weather and I pass two parameters. One is id equals to city id and this is the API id I have already generated or this is the API key I have requested using Selenium master email address. In the response assertion, I do assertion on the response code 200. Or you can also do assertion for the country code IT representing Italy. So 200 code should be uh, good enough for the assertion. Under this HTTP request, I right click add and then assertion. So this is the response assertion. And also under listener, I added view results in table and view results tree. Under the tree, we should be able to observe each HTTP GET request and response data and sampler result. And this table will give the summary of the performance test. Now let's run this test for one user and for 10 counts. So I start the test. Test is completed. Now let's look at the result tree. So we have 10 requests and each request is successful. So response message is OK. Response code is 200. Let's look at the request. So on the first request, the city ID is 6535364. On the second request, it is 6535365. In the last request, it is 6535368. So this is how we can test web applications performance using random function. On this table, we can also look at the average sample time. So total samples are 10 and average is 
166 milliseconds. So we can clear the result and let's add multi-user. Let's do number of users. Let's do five. And ramp up period, let's do one second and loop count is 10. Now let's do the save and run the test. Before we run the test, make sure all results are cleared. Now click on start. So all the request was successful and in the results we have total samples are 50 and average is 23. This API runs very fast. So as explained in this video tutorial you can always use random function to generate random numbers and assign a variable to the random number and you can use the variable in your web testing. If you have any questions in regard to using random function, you can always visit website jmeter.apache.org for the functions.html and search for random function. For more video tutorial or for more questions, you can always send email to services at seleniummaster.com. Thanks for watching.